counting on his running game to pick up the slack. There was contact at the line of scrimmage, and now this is a high alert hard count. He can do that all day. Now for Steven, we call Tampa 2. We didn't call it Tampa 2 then, but what's known as Tampa 2 now, he taught it so well, broke it down really easy for everybody to understand. Off play action. And even though Coach Dungy didn't get you guys to the Super Bowl championship in Tampa, obviously John Gruden got in and got that done. It was nice to see Coach Dungy get his Super Bowl title with the Colts. No. Very minimal game for the football. Yeah, and the big number 92 is from Kailua, Hawaii. Island of Oahu, beautiful part of the state. Pass complete. Nice job by Antonio. Well, he's clean in the pocket, right? He is. Play fake. Threw a little bit off his back foot, but knocking on the door to become the everyday starter for Buffalo. Off play action. Pitch and catch for first down and more across the 50. Off of Buffalo's first game this season as we take another look. You know, Anthony Johnson, his first game as a Division I football player against minute extra and better effort when it's time to pass the ball as well. Make the handoff. Drew Anderson fires a straight on the right side to Jacob Martinez. Now, but again, I'm starting to get impressed now with this Anderson guy. Watch the ball handling. Fakes the jet sweep. He's feeling confident. Not much of a pass rush to speak of. Can step into the throw and deliver his. Forget it. Nice. With Tyoka Jackson, I'm Doug Sherman here in Buffalo, New York. And this time, Drew Anderson goes down. He tried to get rid of the placed on scholarship last August for FAU. Had his first sack of the season last week against Bethune. First half, play selection for the Bulls, 31-18 run to pass. So far, 14-4, now 14-5. There's Island again for a Buffalo first down. Down in to keep the defense honest. It's definitely flipped into a run first offense, a run heavy offense, but every now and then, they're throwing some really good safe passes. There we go, all slant. He gets the, gets the, the center from Seaford, New York, James O'Hagan. A little screen pass to Anthony Johnson. He steps out of out of here without, without the uh, scoreboard being changed. Drew Anderson has his pass deflected. Let's see who got a big paw up there on the uh, first incompletion of the night for Drew Anderson. 48 is Kevin looking for 83 and I'm looking for 81 because they've been there all day clock still running down to four and a half minutes remaining in the fourth quarter Drew Anderson fires incomplete no flags good coverage on the play I say great coverage and again no pass interference it's a great job he stayed exactly one to be inside out down at 11 and again from here we would be talking about a 45, 46, 47 yard field goal, but that's now a moot point. Touchdown, Buffalo. Anthony. On the outside, he's the best football player on the field. And I love the throw. So often you see quarterbacks throw the ball out of bounds here. Look at the placement of the ball. Look at the hand catch. All young receivers need to. This thing could have got away from him, though, when that backup quarterback came in the game, and it didn't because the offensive line stood up. The running game was there all day. Anderson was very efficient and protective with the football. Lance Leipold, the third-year head coach, goes in the year all the way back in 2014. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, without starting quarterback Tyree Jackson because of a knee injury for a second straight week, in steps Drew Anderson. Yeah, and I think he exceeded expectations from the coaches last week. Tyree Jackson is a very athletic guy from the quarterback position, and Anderson showed it off last week. How about that run against Kent State? He had over 75 yards rushing last week. There is one of After Jackson went down against FAU, came in and guided this Buffalo team to a win, and then last week at Kent State did the same, did what he was asked, and he did yeah. it pretty well. Well, as we talked about in the open, he, I think, exceeded some of the expectations for the coaching staff, and you know, they feel really good. You know, sometimes when you lose a starting quarterback, your season is, is wasted. Not for Buffalo. They feel really good about this quarterback. On first down, gets some air under it, and the big man Kamadi Holsey is loose to the 20. Ball comes loose. Is it in play? Here comes Western Michigan back the other way. This is Stefan Claiborne. He's to midfield. A beautifully thrown ball on the outside from Drew Anderson. In stride with Kamadi Holsey. Look at this. Just a fade ball on the outside. 
has his defender beat. Got to tuck that football away. Really good job, though, from Sam Beal, who comes in and doesn't give up on the points. Is no problem for this Buffalo offense. Yeah, this Buffalo team is averaging 10 points per game in the first quarter this year. Last year, they scored a total of 10 points in the first quarter. Wide open down the middle. Jacob Martinez to the house. Controversy in Buffalo. <laughs> How about this? Now, this is going to be a busted coverage. Martinez cuts inside. There's nobody in the middle of the field. That is unacceptable for Western Michigan, and really good job recognizing that from Drew Anderson. Number two, Drew Anderson, the 6'5 junior from Orinda, California. Coming up big, his second bomb. This one goes for six, and the Bulls are right back. Third down, about eight. Little tempo here for the Buffalo offense. Anderson rolling left, directing traffic, lofts it up, but his defender went down, and a flag is on the turn. Holding, number 24, defense. 10 yards, automatic first down. Who makes defenses play this Buffalo offense honestly. On play action. Anderson steps up, again lofts it. This time trying to find top east of here. The pit really struggling this year. They are. Anderson finds the hot receiver. That is Johnson, and he breaks tackles. Big gain to the foot. On the outside for Buffalo, number 83 comes across your screen. Right there, gets upfield. Kind of came out of nowhere this offseason. He's sure junior from Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Throwing from his heels. Anderson had his pass go through the hands of Antonio Nunn. Now he's been Nunn. Confidence in him. And if you're wondering, the, the third quarterback on the death chart, now the number two quarterback, at least for this game, Kyle Van Treese is a freshman, a true freshman, who has never played a college down. Big completion. See, he'll go up and get it. Now, this isn't a great ball. I mean, a little bit underthrown, and Johnson just goes up and snags that thing away from O.B. Jackson. Says Davion Clowney, the former uh, South Carolina star, now, of course, with the Houston Texans. That's just a drop. It's just a drop by the being a steady guy. Coming up with volume tackles, but how about that interception? Bob uh, controlling the middle of the line. Pass incomplete. For the Broncos, and at the time he graduated, he was number four all-time in the history of Division I football in career passing yardage. Pretty good stuff. They came in and asked the players, what do you like from what the previous coaching staff did? What would you like to keep? What would you like to change? On the dump-off pass. Great question. I, I think it's arguably Florida right now, or Georgia. I mean, I, I think Georgia is impressed, obviously, in the SEC East. That pass is dropped by... Six-yard gain by Theo Anderson, redshirt freshman, running back for Buffalo. First, meantime, it's Emmanuel Reed, the number one, and Theo Anderson, the number two, running back for UB. Off the read option, Johnson. Wow! Watch as number six comes into your screen. 83 comes across, little jet sweep motion action, and he gets flipped. On was looking forward to playing against his cousin in this game, but uh, his cousin, the starting quarterback for Buffalo, Tyree Jackson. Remains sidelined with a knee injury. They're hoping Jackson might be able to return next week. His backup, Drew Anderson, with a nifty little pass. Comparic win for that program and for Matt Campbell. How about Toledo today surviving a test from Eastern Michigan? Drew Anderson on first down. You start to look at getting these timeouts called if you can get the football back for your, your, yourself. Swing pass, caught. Island. Turns the corner, but he did so with help of what's going to be an illegal block or a hole. Five. Number 12 in blue at quarterback for Buffalo is Drew Anderson, the former San Diego State walk-on. His first pass is a completion. that They've really started to get a lot more involved in this offense. And at the end of this play, how about this? We'll track and field. For a 10-yard run by Theo Anderson, the quarterback Drew Anderson back to pass. Lofts it down the right side, a little bit too long for his intended rear today and giving him more of an opportunity. Now this kid can rip it. He's a kid from Northern California who spent some time at a JUCO, but since he's come to Buffalo, hasn't really had a chance to play. Uh, Miramont High School. and So much competition in the Big Ten Conference this year, it's going to be a challenge. Buffalo with the football on third down. Drew Anderson's pass juggled, hauled in their UB first down. Going to run this right to the sticks, and Anderson knows exactly where his guy's at. And a pretty good job there. No Division I 
college experience, but thrust into action two weeks ago with the injury to Tyree Jackson. And there's another accurate throw. On time, on target. To route, a corner route as they call it. 83 right in the slot. He breaks it off at about 12 yards. And a good break there up underneath from Stephon Claiborne. In his long coaching experience, he's never had a player with so little playing experience receive so many votes by his teammates to be a team captain. Now, I was so surprised about that. I, I said, wait a second, is he a captain? Or you know, He's like, no, but he got a lot of votes. Nobody thought he was going to be the starting quarterback coming into the season, yet he still got votes from his teammates, and he hasn't been here that long. So he has certainly garnered a lot of respect from uh, his teammates here in Buffalo. I think it speaks volumes to him. That was something, when he said that, that jumped out at me mm -hmm. big time. I'm like, this guy is a, a born leader. You, you know that from, uh, from the fact that he hasn't played, and he has, his teammates respect him. On third and five, Anderson flips it up, incomplete. There was contact, but no flat. Central Michigan beat Ohio 26-23, and Toledo was pushed by Eastern Michigan, but the Rockets held on 20-15. Pass incomplete, and the Rockets were... And so far today, Johnson has caught four passes for 55 yards. Third and long from his own end zone. Long pass, trying to find Johnson, who goes here today. So Buffalo's offense back onto the field. Drew Anderson, the quarterback, just going to. Anthony Johnson in motion. Anderson looks his way past, batted down. Back too soon, so you wonder how long Anderson's going to kind of keep the reins of this job. I think kind of it depends on how well he plays. The, the better he plays, the better situation it is to bring Tyree Jackson back. Anderson in trouble. Keeps the play alive, throws the football on the run, and it's caught. This is scramble drill on the outside. You watch Holsey, man coverage against Phillips. He passes it off. And then, of course, deep guys run short, short guys run deep, and that's what Holsey does. And really good job, though, by, by Drew Anderson. The thing that he did on that play was escape the pocket. Tyree Jackson does well, and that's something that they have loved in Drew Anderson. From their own 49-yard line, Drew Anderson going deep again. He's got a man just out of the reach of Holsey. Boy, Holsey had a step on his defense. I just think it's a game of inches, and you watch. Look at this. Fingertips. Oh, so close to being a big play for him. Matched up with the top corner for Western Michigan, Darius Phillips. Third down and eight. Swing pass to Anderson. Makes the first man miss. Steps out of. There's Drew Anderson, the 6'5 junior from Orinda, California. Pass incomplete through the hand. Some of those big plays you had in the first quarter, it got to hit him here in the fourth quarter to get you back in the game. They get the ball into the hands of Anthony Johnson. To the 10, to the 15. And there's your big play receiver. Their own five-yard line is a crossing route. He comes across in motion, goes out to the flat. I think it's a good block, a cut block down the field by Holsey. And then I love how Holsey gets up. Helping to pick up 18 yards. Now rolling right. Drew Anderson lost it. Wide open man. It's Johnson again. How was he so open? To the 30. Phillips chases him out of bounds. Back-to-back receptions. And it's on the outside. I think Phillips takes the cheese right there. You can't take the cheese. Got to get back in three deep zone coverage. And he does it. He comes up in the flat. The two Andersons next to each other. Drew the quarterback. Theo now blocking for him. That's another completion, another Buffalo first down, and then a big. There's a look. This is, again, scramble drill. Good job by Holsey. He comes across inside, and then as he sees inside. And he does not have Phillips defending here. They go that way, and there is the touchdown. Little back shoulder throw. Play. Where's Anthony Johnson? I love this beautiful fade stop. The cornerback can't do anything about it. His head's turned. The ball's already out. And Johnson just is able to corral the foot. Buffalo has two receivers along with Kamadi Holsey who've gone over 100 yards and counting. Drew Anderson, the man who's making it happen from the quarterback position, picks up. Ridiculous numbers. 18 for 33, 343 yards for Anderson. This is just his second college start. A Juco transfer from Diablo Valley Community College. And here he is starting in a big-time matchup on national TV. To the air again. And another completion to Johnson. As both. Watch Anderson motions inside. Creates a little bit of confusion. Obi Jackson passes it off to a safety gin right. And 
That, that's about as good a throw as you're going to get between two defenders at the back. Pickett got that last run for Buffalo going deeper on that depth chart for Buffalo at the running back position. He's a redshirt freshman from Sewanee, Georgia, out of North Gwinnett High School out there again. Got him deep. That's his man. Buffalo retakes the lead on the pass to K.J. Osborne. When he steps up in the pocket, guys become even more open. Watch number eight, top of your screen, double move on the outside like a wheel route, and I don't know what O.B. Jackson's doing. You stare in the backfield, you watch quarterbacks complete passes, and that's exactly what Drew Anderson did. Anthony Johnson, top of the screen, coming in motion here. Working on a big game stats-wise. They go right to him. Catches it, shy of the 20, across the 25. Comes in motion. They understand it's zone coverage. It's not man. And so you know you're going to have him open. Good blocks down the field from the wide receivers in front. He cuts inside. Pitch and catch for Minnesota. He's well past that and counting here tonight. Drew Anderson. Nice catch by Osborne. The pass was a little bone his senior year down in Largo, Florida. Still had 700 yards rushing. Out of Indian Rocks Christian High School. With Emmanuel Reed out, presumably for the game. We've not seen him here in the second half. Buffalo just keeps moving the football. K.J. Osborne with a zip on the ball from Anderson. Steps up in the pocket, right over the middle between two defenders. He's open, but, man, that thing has to be delivered on time. And it was. 84 yards receiving. Drew Anderson at quarterback. Flips it up again into double coverage. He was trying to find Anthony Johnson. Ten yards here to make the kick a little bit easier. I'm sure Coach Leipold would rather just get it in the end zone and yeah. take the guesswork out. Just out of the reach of Miss Varsity football coach at Bishop Tymon. So uh, they played probably last night. Chance to watch it here this afternoon and this evening. On third and ten, Drew Anderson with another completion. That certainly helps in terms of field goal range to end this point after a thrilling fourth quarter. And Drew Anderson took over this game in the fourth quarter, finding his wide receiver, K.J. Osborne, right there. Here's the sort of house money here. You've come back in this game, and you've got all the momentum at this point. So Drew Anderson, let it rip. Well, that he does, going for it all on first down. Had a chance to be intercepted, and then chance. Even at this point, I, I don't think a field goal is guaranteed. So you got to at least get some positive yards. No, not at all. From here, it would be about a 42-yard field goal. Even with the win, that's no chip shot. Pass deflected at the line of scrimmage and falls incomplete. Himself right now. I, I'm thinking draw or screen. The running back is Theo Anderson. The quarterback is Drew Anderson. Never mind. He's got himself a first down. Wow, what a throw. Well, back to Osborne. This is a dangerous call. They roll the pocket. Run that deep out as they run the... In his stead, Anthony Johnson goes in motion. Pass, little low, and... This week I said, is that sort of the game plan? Do you want to, you know, tempo it back because he's a, uh, a backup quarterback? He said, uh-uh. He said, we're going to open it up this week. No, indeed they have. Third down and nine. Are they aggressive again? Drew Anderson. Against the corner blitz, able to get rid of it, but he couldn't. Uh, some of the offensive linemen for Buffalo jumps on top of him, and that's going to get called. Into the end zone. Yes, sir. Touchdown, Buffalo. And, or rather, Kamadi holds. Oh. From Drew Anderson, watch this. It's a rifled this thing in there. That's a bullet to Holsey. And again, they're picking on the corner, Obi Jackson. Again, the run fades both sides, top and bottom. And it's a back shoulder throw. And again, as a defender, and I've been there so many times as a cornerback, this back shoulder throw is so difficult to, to defend. You don't know when the that's what Drew Anderson's up against right now in his second career start in double overtime on homecoming against Western Michigan. Drew Anderson into the end zone. The one-handed attempt is no good, but what an effort. By end earlier with an injury. Watch number 21 here. Isolated slot receiver, none. 21's going to grab him, and then he still almost hauls it in with one hand against the helmet. Second down and 10. The running back is Theo Anderson. The quarterback, Drew Anderson. With the pocket collapsing, he just throws it up to the end zone, and it's in. It's intercepted. 
Oh, it's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. Anthony Johnson somehow holds this in. Touchdown. Anthony Johnson, he just knows he's got to get this ball away or he can't take a sack. 83 right there, matched up against Darius Phillips. What a great throw. Look at him. Go get that thing. Get the two feet down in bounds. Man. And now, Buffalo with the chance to tie to send a triple overtime. Let's recap overtime, how we got to this now third OT. No points will be scored for kicked extra points. Kamadi Holsey with the first touchdown. There's and Ernsberger. Ernsberger before his sister came out. There she is, a little sisterly love. Let me shout out a guy on Twitter said Euro football when supporters run the field, it's deemed a pitch invasion. So was that a pitch invasion there by <laughs> I think so. Ernsberger's sister as the throwback touchdown from Watson? And then how about your guy, your number one receiver, Anthony Johnson, coming up with a huge with 518 yards passing and counting. Theo Anderson from Drew Anderson does a nice... Just some serious skill. I, I don't know how he hasn't seen the field since he's been at Buffalo. He's thrown for 526 yards and five touchdowns with no picks in this game. Talk about stepping up when the lights are brightest. Second and two. Lofts it up toward the end zone, trying to find Johnson. A lot of contact, and then the flag comes. Never do. Right? Never, never. The ball's loose. Western Michigan has it. The fumble by Theo Anderson gives it back to the Broncos. In from 30 yards away. Josh Grant's kick is up. No good. And no good wide right. Rossing hands to Franklin. And he is into the end zone. I'm looking for Ernsberger here. He seemed to be, make some plays down the red zone. Direct snap. Here comes Watson. Fakes the pass, dives towards the end zone. He had the touchdown pass to his quarterback, John Wasink, and there he was thinking about trying to throw for the two-point conversion. Instead, he pinballs his way into the end zone. So now down eight. Buffalo needs a touchdown of its own and a two-point conversion of its own. Pass. Where is number 83? Well, bunch set top. He's top of the screen. They bring Osborne in motion, who's been a big time playmaker as well. Looking toward Johnson instead, throws inside the 10 yard line to Kamadi Holsey. Buffalo knocking on the door one more time. Doug, this guy is just blowing me away with his poise. Second and 10, fourth and fourth overtime. Again, they go hurry up. I like this call by Lance Leipold. Comes in. I'd hit one of those play action, move the pocket type throws. And look, look how the short split here from Holsey. He can work that whole outside. There you go. Looking that way, and he had the pass, but just couldn't haul it in. And he pushed off to play by Holsey. I'm out for an injured player. Well, you got to. So two chances to punch it in here on third and goal from inside the five yard line. Anderson again, Osborne, and he is able to haul it in for a touchdown. Allows Osborne to get a little bit of separation off the line of scrimmage. As you see the defender there, Brad Tanner, the backup safety, chasing from behind. And Osborne, who has just had an unbelievable day, the sophomore again from Ypsilanti, who spent some time, really wants to master his trades. He works at it every day. Double reverse. Got it. Indeed they do. The quarterback, Drew Anderson, on the receiving end of the pass from Anthony Johnson. Wow. How about this? In overtime, both teams have used a double pass back to the quarterback. Mm -hmm. One to Wasink for a touchdown by Western Michigan. And now Buffalo goes to a little trickeration as well. How about this? They bring Osborne in motion. He double, pa uh, double reverses it back to Anthony Johnson. How does Johnson get it off? And then at the end for, for uh, Drew Anderson, who's a quarterback who barely plays, to hold on to that ball as Obi Jackson, number 24, comes in and gives him a big hit.
Second down and 12. Drew Anderson has an open man, but Osborne unable to. Your field goal kicker here. Osborne's in the slot. None wide left. Johnson wide right. Anderson over the middle. He's got a man. Touchdown, Buffalo. Osborne one more time. And then you go and totally redeem yourself. Now he's second touchdown reception of this overtime. Right in the slot. This is called a little bang eight right down the seam. And this ball, how about, you can't throw that football any better. That is zipped in there for Osborne. Buffalo. Wow. First time out of this. And now the two-point conversion with Pickett, the running back. This is the fifth, or the second, rather, fifth overtime game in UB history. They, uh, they went this long against Stony Brook four years ago. Pass complete. Guess who? K.J. Osborne. Got a flag, though. Have to look at this and see if it's going to come. Pass interference. Offense. 15-yard penalty. Yard, <laughs> two-point conversion play. What do you got? Here's what I got. Where's 83? Or where's number eight? And I'm just throwing it up in the air and letting goes, those guys go make a play. Anderson's looking that way. Lofts it up. Fight for the football. Come on. Oh, I thought he Incomplete. had Incomplete. You watch uh, much tennis, Doug yeah. Sherman? Yeah. You know how, like, if you're serving and the, your opponent breaks you? Mm -hmm. Do. Play action. Anderson. Pass interference. There you go. Darius Phillips. Buffalo, they're just going to take shots. Holsey up top. Look at Darius Phillips. Good offhand jam, but then he gets caught up. He needs to turn that head around earlier. If he does, probably doesn't get called. Would you have believed him? No. He has been. There's still time left, buddy. Fairly quiet. On first down. Anderson. Wide open receiver over the middle. So fighting the game with cramps, right? Kudos to the training staffs of these programs for keeping these guys hydrated because they have not really held the game up with cramps. Drew Anderson pulls the football down. He's going to run. He's going to run and get in. 65, 65. Now Buffalo's a runner. This is your backup. Second career start in the sixth overtime. He wanted to find his tight end. Mabry in the flat, he was covered up. Instead, he just steps up in the pocket. There's a wide open void. Watch Spillane. Spillane is going to get outside. Starts to rush. These guys are all just so exhausted right now. And Anderson just steps up and runs in. And I think you're pretty happy, huh? 585 yards, seven touchdown passes, and now you run for one? This guy's accounted for eight touchdowns in this game. <laughs> oh, and he also caught a two-point conversion. Excuse me. For the win. Drew Anderson running for his life, and he's dropped. We're not going home. Nope. 11 years, partner. Any yeah. NCAA game has gone to a seventh overtime. Osborne on the reception. One fumble. You thought when Theo Anderson fumbled it and Western had a shot to win it on a field goal, I thought that would be the game, and it was not the case. Anderson throws a bullet. Johnson the best corner he's a guy that's probably going to get drafted they're saying second third round right now is a chance to move maybe into the late first round if he has a good season but but OB Jackson Sam Bill must be out with an injury because Jackson's been getting most of the work on second down able to hook up with Tyler maybe play by play guy came into my office and interrupted me before we were trying to put the shovels into the ground for the uh, building of the new practice facility Pass deflected away. No laundry. Game is gone. This thing's getting blocked and going back for two. Kidding. Great kick. Franklin to the end zone. He's in for a touchdown. And Western Michigan. Well, they take the lead. Game's, game's over. over. <laughs> we can all go home. What Final. a game. Wow. Sold in the last few weeks, they have found a bunch of plays over 40 yards or more. Making just his third ever start as a college quarterback.
pocket presence is one thing you hear about. And he stood tall. And Kane emphasizes uh, every week in practice. Keep your eye on number 15 in white on third down. Sutton Smith, the defensive end. This time Anderson flushed from the pocket for the record books. Coming off of last week's historic performance in the seven overtime game with Western Michigan. He is leading the back in both receptions and receiving touchdowns. And you wonder about him and the other guys having some sort of fatigue as we've got a guys held up as well as they did as long as they did in that game. They held up better than I did. <laughs> I was wiped out by the end of that game. Here's Drew Anderson with a flag down pass a little bit behind the intended receiver and drop. Really? He was blown away by that. He doesn't really follow the stats, you know, where, where guys rank in the nation. He was uh, pretty excited to hear those numbers. And a couple of weeks ago, Coach Leipold as on first down, Anderson on the rebound and will keep and pick up 13 yards. Looking a little, quote, humble and hardworking on top of everything else, getting it done in the classroom as well. No doubt. Here's a look at the play. Anderson does show some athletic ability, and that's one of those. Anderson came on to replace the injured Tyree Jackson. Late in the first half against Florida Atlantic three weeks ago, and he has really taken to the position and run with the fact that Maction just implies offense. What about our Maction? What about when we pitch a shutout? Anderson on the rollout, wide open is Johnson. His first reception. First down. So a nice little corner route. Sorry to uh, partner. Is Johnson in the slot? Does a good job finding between the zone, and then well within field goal range now. Anderson staring down his intent to the right. It's Johnson wide right. Mabry, the tight end, now gets tight to the line. Pass complete Osborne. Stiff arm can't get away from the. Here's Osborne in the slot. Anderson's, and this is easy pitch and catch. I mean, I'm noticing that Northern Illinois playing a lot of manageable third down here. Third and four, they can still pick up the first down inside the two yard line. Buffalo 0 for 3 on third downs, trying to make it 1 for 4 and a touchdown, but uh, bro. Pass complete. Chances taking shots it is more suited for this offense with Anderson at quarterback. On third down, Anderson. Drop from behind. Guy is special, and Anderson doesn't typically take sacks. This offensive line's done a good job. Anderson. Can't really do much about that as back position, but some of the other spots as well. That's Johnson in motion on the swing pass. Here he is in space. Wide open. It took out two defenders. Watch they motion Johnson out here. It's a little bubble pass. Pass, excuse me. A terrific block. How about Martinez? He cards on the pickup. Trayshawn Foster with the tackle. Drew Anderson lobs it to a wide open receiver with plenty of room to run. That's Emmanuel Reed still on his feet inside the 15 yard line. This is such a great play from Drew Anderson. There was pressure coming up the middle of the pocket and he has such terrific pocket presence to step up and find Emmanuel Reed. Watch this interior pressure. Anderson looking down the field steps up avoids the pressure and then just dinks it right over top of Jawan Johnson's head to find Emmanuel Reed for the big game. Emmanuel Reed. Well, right on cue, you said it, Dustin. This team for Buffalo able to erase deficits like they haven't been in years past. Doug just taking a peek. I think there may be some weather coming. Well, if it's coming from Kalamazoo, there certainly is. They're in a lightning delay at Western Michigan right now. How about this, though? Same end of the field where Anderson spent seven overtimes last week. I think this brings back <laughs> some deja vu. It's a good call. Anderson wide open. Up. He sure does. Boy, another mistake by this NIU defense, Emmanuel Reed. I don't know how Emmanuel Reed is so wide open here on the outside. Look at all the white shirts. They're looking at 86 Holsey, who's in the flat, and then he just turns up field and finds Emmanuel Reed. I, no one even show 91 yards on that drive. Let's go back and look at this touchdown play. Lurie's inside here, and I think it was man coverage because he was pointing inside to a linebacker, and the linebacker should have taken the matchup bottom of the screen. You've got Lurie matched up against Anthony Johnson again. Showing pressure. Nice job by Anderson to pick it up. Dump it off to Osborne. And he's still going to the 30. <laughs> and on first 
first down and 20, just like... ...have some extracurricular activities here at the end of this round, but let's look at this play. This is an unbelievable effort from Osborne. You make a man miss, and then you cut back outside. You're like, ah, well, all the white shirts are here. I'm going to go the opposite direction. He cuts back across field, and then ends up... No better. I would agree. So move him back to the 36-yard line. There's a bullet pass. And out of Northern California who his coach said was, was one of the purest pocket passers he's ever seen. And boy, I'll tell you what, I, I've been just been so impressed with this young man. Out of Miramont High School in Orinda, California. That's the Bay Area. He hooks up again with Jacob Martinez. And Buffalo is, you take a look at Martinez's route here inside. Just sits down right at the sticks, maybe a yard short, and then turns outside, knows where the first down marker is, and areas to, to, uh, to have an impact on the offense as well. Drew Anderson, back shoulder throw, it's caught. And it's inbound. Uh, in college very often. This is a fade stop. Watch 83. He breaks it off the top of his route. He's got number one, Albert Small's beat. And the ball's thrown before he even cuts out of that break. Mm -hmm. happen. Are both now near perfect. Nine consecutive pass completions for Anderson. Trying to make it ten in a row, but he is level. Guess who? Sutton well, Smith. Oh. The nation's leader in sacks. Watch him. He cuts inside the block. You know, 70, David Goldsby's out there at the right tackle. He just allows, you can't defend <laughs> yourself or really brace for it. No, no, here's the look, blind side. He doesn't see it coming. Bam. I mean, that is just a big time. And, and, and again, I mean, that hit comes in. They want, maybe want to look at him for, you know, the, the a possible concussion too, because that's a big hit. Yeah, it's, and, and it's, a, 